Greetings everyone. Today we discuss about the program to display the full pyramid using star. So whenever you are going to display the stars as a pyramid, so we are going to display in this way. How to how to display? Actually, what is happening in the whenever we are writing the program? So how it is taking? Assume that this is the display screen, or all the stars will be displayed in this way. So it starts from the first line. If you know that each single line takes characters, how many characters it will take? Some seventy two characters it will take. So in each every for every character you will have a space on your screen now our star is placed on the middle and then in the second row another three stars we are displaying so in this way we are displaying as a pyramid so this is like a pyramid structure if you observe this in the first row if i take number of rows as five in the first row the star is printing in the fifth character and in the second row the star is printing in the fourth character in the third row it is on the third character fourth row it is as a second character and in the fifth row it is starting from the first character so every time it is going to decrement but how to go to the fifth character in the first row so that means we need spaces now for the four characters so what first we have to read the number of rows so when we read the number of rows for example it is five four characters must be space that means rows minus one so we'll take space as one and the condition as space is less than or equal to rows minus one space is less than or equal to rows minus one understood why i am taking rows minus 1 because it is five rows so in the first row it should have four spaces then it should add at the fifth row so we took rows minus 1 space plus space will take first time we will check so space is equal to 1 space less than or equal to rows minus 1 that is 5 minus 1 4 then it will be true so it will come here in the next cursor will move to the second character again it checks 2 less than or equal to 4 true then it will check cursor goes to the third character cursor goes to the fourth character now you will be in the fifth character cursor moves in the fifth character in this fifth character it will check by this time your space will be five so five less than or equal to rows minus one rows minus one is what five minus one that is four so five less than or equal to four it will be false so now your cursor is at this place at this place you have to print the star okay so it's easy to print one star but in the second row you have to print some stars in the third row another some stars fourth row again some stars and fifth row some stars so how we are going to print if you closely observe this first row it is printing one star in the second row it is printing three stars in the third row it is printing five stars fourth row it is printing seven stars and in the fifth row it is printing nine stars if you have sixth row then it will print 11 stars so number of stars for each row will be is coming like this one three five seven nine that means all are odd numbers so if you want to have a formula of odd number then what you'll write we'll say it as 2 into something minus 1 so that becomes your odd number understood 2 into something minus 1 what is something here so for example if i here we want that something as row so here in this place what is my row number one so two into one two minus one then it becomes what one so one star will be printed and then next in this i want three stars but the row number is what second row it is so if it is second row then two into two that is four minus one that becomes three in the third row i have five so to get the five we have what we have to do two into that row number three two threes are six minus one five in the same way two into four minus one that is seven and here also two into five minus one that is nine so this is the logic behind your patterns one is how many stars so stars are printing as the odd numbers for each row so to it to get the odd number value we have a formula called as two in something minus one then it gives you odd number anything you take 10, 2 tens are 20, minus 1, 19. You take 25, 2 into 25, minus 1, it will be 49. So that is odd number formula. Okay. So based on this, we are going to write the program. One is how to have the spaces. And next is how many number of stars we have to print. So this is one. So you have to read the number of rows and then set i is equal to 1. This i is for the rows and space is for the space. And check i less than or equal to rows. Okay. So first it will be 1 less than or equal to rows. And set k. This k is for the repeating number of stars. How many number of stars you want to print for each row. So spaces should be less than your rows, right? Because you have, your cursor should be on the rows itself, on the first, on the that particular number. So that's why you're going for spaces less than or equal to rows minus i. So now it becomes 5 minus 1, that is 4. Till 4, you have spaces and the cursor moves to, whenever you say spaces equals space plus 1, the cursor moves to the fifth place. 
so in the fifth place you'll have the space so if k and then you'll write k not equal to 2 into i minus 1 that is you want to print the number of stars so to print the number of stars we need an odd number so for that odd number we are going for 2 into i minus 1 then you are going for k plus 1 and then you're printing next line because you want to go for the next line so this is how you'll write the so this is the program this is a program where your first this for loop is from here to here so first this for loop is for the number of rows to first row second row third row and this for loop is number of spaces in first row second row third row and fourth row this for while loop is for number of stars to be printed okay every time this k is becoming zero because we need stars from first from the first again how many number of rows right this is how you are you'll get the output we'll see how to we'll just trace the program so what he has given i is equal to one so we'll write i is equal to one i is equal to next i less than or equal to rows and then you have to increment i and k is zero this is first line here we are in this line so what we are doing now space is equal to one in this for loop you are going for space is equal to one and space is less than or equal to rows minus one why we are taking rows minus one because we need spaces before this i mean before that right to print fifth if i say five then in the five fifth column we want to write the value then plus plus space okay right we'll see now so assume that rows value is 5 right so now you are in this particular place your cursor will be always in the first place so your space is also at that place one then you will you here you are there right so space less than or equal to rows minus one that means space is now one one less than or equal to five minus one five minus one is four so which is true so whenever it is true it is going to print the space so it printed the space here now at this particular place space is printed now it moves to the now then we'll say space plus plus space then it is moving to the here space becomes what now space becomes two right so now again it will check for the value what is the value now space is what space is two two less than or equal to two less than or equal to four this is also true then it will add another space we are in this place so now three three less than or equal to four which is true so you are in this place so it is printing space we are here now because now it moved to plus so 4 less than or equal to 4 so print space so it printed space now you are in this place so now space becomes 5 so now at this at this time it will check the condition 5 less than or equal to 4 which is false so now your cursor is at this place and it became false right so entire this for loop is finished now we are in this while so in while what it is showing what it is asking so in while it is say it is checking for a condition k not equal to 2 into i minus 1 understood why we are writing this i 2 into i minus 1 to have the odd number of digits so that we'll write the star in that we'll write in we'll print the star in it so 2 into what is i i is 1 minus 1 so that becomes what 2 minus 1 that becomes 1 so now k is what 1 so k is not equal to 1 sorry k is not equal to 1 that means 0 not equal to 1 which is true. because we said first k as 0 we have assigned k as 0 so then what you have to do you have to print print star so here star is printed because you are in that place okay k is now plus plus k that means k became now 1 so again it will check so at last what we got this one 0 not equal to 1 right so now now k became what 1 so 1 not equal to 1 which is false so as it is false it comes out of this while fall it comes out of this while and next it is printing the slash n that means it is going your cursor is moving to the second row and you are in this place second row so this is overall first for loop now again it goes back to the for loop entire for loop it is right so now plus plus i so now i becomes what i is equal to 2 so again check the condition i becomes 2 and again what we have we have something called as k is equal to 0 so k is also equal to 0 i less than rows i is what now 2 less than so it is equal to less 2 less than or equal to rows rows is what 5 we took rows as 5 so which is also true so as it is true it will enter into the again in the for loop inside the for loop again we have something called as for loop so space is again what 1 so now this row this becomes what space is what 1 1 less than this is i 1 less than or equal to rows is 5 minus 
now i became 2 that is equal to 3 so i 5 minus 2 is equal to what 3 which is true so as it is true it will it goes to the space it will enter the space here so space then it will increment the space now space becomes 2 so now again it checks the condition 2 less than or equal to 5 minus 2 that is equal to 3 so 2 less than or equal to 3 yes true so as it is true again it enters the space so now it will be 3 3 less than or equal to now i uh, i plus 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 space becomes what 3 so 3 less than or equal to 5 minus 2 that is equal to 3 which is true so as it is true it will add space and it will goes to this place now plus plus space becomes what 4 so next in this it will ask check for the condition 4 less than or equal to 5 minus 2 that is equal to 3 which is false so it is false so it comes out of this for loop now it goes to the y in the y again k is what 0 because we changed again 0 right x the condition k not equal to 2 into i minus 1 that is 0 not equal to what is i i is what now i became 2 right see here you see i so 2 into 2 minus 1 that is equal to 3 that is equal to 3 that is 0 not equal to 3 which is true so as it is true it has to print star so it is going to print star so once it is printed star it moves to the next pl next place again as it is while loop again it has to check the condition so before that s plus k is there that means k becomes now 1 k becomes 1 right so now again check the condition it is a while so i have to we have to check the condition 1 not equal to 2 into rho i minus 1 means 2 into 2 minus 1 that is equal to 3 which is also again true so as it is true it will again print the star so it will print the star and it moves to the next one and next again k becomes what as it is plus plus k k becomes 2 so next check here 2 so 2 not equal to 3 it is true again it is true so it will print the star and it will move to the next place and now it becomes now it becomes what 3 so whenever it is becoming 3 3 not equal to 3 which is false so it comes out of the while loop now it is print star n so your cursor moves from here to here so in this way you do the output will be shown like this so this is the output you want to check the program then this is the program which we have written so compile this program and run so how many rows you want five rows can you see the output five rows so we'll go with the six rows now compile and run uh, we'll go for ten rows so it's pyramid so it is a full pyramid of stars thank you so much